This is Annika Greer. This is Annika Greer joining us for a three-day semifinals prep camp. This is Annika Greer beating Noah Olson in a workout at said three-day semifinals prep camp. This is Annika Greer at three years old breaking into the sport of show jumping. This is Annika Greer on her Fergalicious horse named Fergie. This is a clip from the Jackie Chan movie that led to Annika Greer joining CrossFit. This is Annika Greer at 13 back squatting more than I could at 23, making 325 look easy. This is Annika Greer being asked about the time she barely missed the 2018 games at age 14. Probably one of the most painful things I had experienced in my life to that point. And this is Brandon Dorman about to ask Annika Greer how she got into the sport of CrossFit in this 18-minute clip from episode 130 of Training Think Tank's Corpus Animus podcast. Take it away, Brandon. But let's take a let's take a rewind in time and talk about how you got into the sport because you've been doing it for a few years now and you're still young. Chris alluded to that. You're 19. And when did you start the sport? I started, I mean, I started CrossFit when I was 13. Wow. But it wasn't, I didn't actually know it was a sport. I thought I was a gymnast kind of I was a gymnast I wasn't very good though like I feel like <laughs> like I mean a lot of like Alexis was a gymnast and right. I know she was very good yeah yeah and there's a lot of like Carrie Pierce was a collegiate gymnast there's a lot of CrossFit games athletes that were high level gymnasts I did gymnastics I was not like excellent by any means but it definitely helped with a lot For of sure. body awareness stuff so that was 2017 ish uh, yes. Yeah, it was 2017. So what, you went from doing gymnastics to you were like in a CrossFit gym and you started doing it or you're just doing CrossFit stuff at home? Like how, how no. where did that start? It's funny because where I'm from, PEI in, in Canada, it's so small. We're like 10 years behind the world in, in every regard, you know? So like CrossFit wasn't a thing. Like I had no idea what it was. Yeah. My main sport growing up and as like a teenager was show jumping with horses. So that was my whole life. Wow. And that gymnastics was always kind of like on the back burner for horses and riding. But Tell me I, your horse's name. Oh, my, my last, well, at my first pony, her name was Minnie Go. Minnie. 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 I still have Minnie actually. That's she's awesome. my, she's Did you like, see her face light up? I, oh, I, I just love, yeah, she was the best. And then when I, my like Grand Prix, my nice show jumper, her name was Fergie. <laughs> so how do you even get into that sport? Because I've that, heard that didn't before. phase Brandon at all. <laughs> He was like normal name. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's not all the same. Her, right? her freaking <laughs> Fergalicious, though. Yeah, Fergalicious. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Getting into that, it was kind of funny. My typically in that kind of like sport, it's a family thing because it's okay. a very wealthy sport. It's yeah. like golf. Yeah, you, you don't know? just like, find horses. You don't just start. You don't just sign up and start. You know, it's not like soccer. You throw your kids in it. You know, like it's it is a very wealthy sport, and typically you do it through your family. Like all of the kids I competed against were so wealthy and like their families owned barns. Their mom rode their whole life, like competed. Um, me, on the other hand, my parents had never been around horses, but my first word was like pony. I was uh, just obsessed with yeah. them. Like I loved them. I was three when I started. My daughter um, loves unicorns. They have those. <laughs> <laughs> do they have those in Prince Edward? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, unfortunately not. Not unless you glue a horn to their head, which I have done for Halloween before. Um, but even just like when we would drive down the road and I'd see horses on the side of the road, I'd always go, what's like, I'd like mouth something and my mom pony. And then I ended up just started saying it. She was like, this is ridiculous. We need to get this kid around horses. Like this is just, I can't take it anymore. She's so annoying. <laughs> That's so cool. They gave you the opportunity. It is. I was very lucky, very fortunate. I'm an only child. My parents are only children. It's like a very small, it's just yeah. us, you know, and living where we did. It's not, I mean, PEI is not a wildly expensive place to live. Not a ton of people, not what a huge. What does PEI stand for? Is that how you, is that a word? <laughs> I know I say it like PEI, but it's Prince Edward Island. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. But, um. Shout out Prince. Hey, but <laughs> we're going to say PEI the whole, entire time. Okay, Chris? <laughs> PEI. Shout Respect out Prince it. Edward. <laughs> my dude. But uh, just, yeah, I got very fortunate. Both my parents have PhDs. They had good jobs. I was very lucky that I was able to do that. I know a lot of people aren't, especially in a sport like that. So that was, I'm very fortunate. I had a very good childhood in that sense. So what, did they take you to a, a specific place that's teaching that? Or like, how, like I still don't, yeah. because that actually is big around here, believe it or not. I don't know. Oh, do you Georgia? Know Georgia, yeah, and Georgia Florida, horse yeah. Country. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in yeah. horse country in Florida, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that that was the case here. Yeah. But like where we live in Canton, which is like 20 minutes from here, 30 minutes from here, mm -hmm. tons of people have horses. Oh, yeah. and well, just do down the show. street, there's like a equestrian yeah, park. There is. Like where you would normally go in like any normal like suburb or city, there'd be like a park like that you just go run or jog at. Well, this one just has, has horses. Yeah. yeah. Like what? But it's still like 
like a normal, I, I don't want to say normal person, but someone that's just like kind of their day to day life. You yep. don't really get into that world. No, so yeah. like, obviously you have that connection where you loved horses, your parents take you somewhere, but how yeah. do they even find a place? So and then they, they did some digging the, yeah. again, the beauty of PEI is everybody knows everybody. So it's kind of, they found someone that knew this place that would be kind of crazy enough to stick a three year old on a horse, you know? So I started going Whoa, with three? Lessons. I was three. Oh my God. Actually, Whoa. I'm sure I can find pictures after. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see those. I have a little pink ducky bike helmet and like, I'm just like, I am, I mean, I'm five foot two now. Oh, you were so one of those. <laughs> <laughs> how tiny I was at One of those three. nerds with a helmet, huh? Hey, you gotta wear a helmet. Are you trying I'm to get in yeah, three? Of course. <laughs> you sticking your three year old on a, a, a thousand pound animal, no helmet. Yeah, no. Could you, you imagine doing that with your? She uh, gotta kid? look cool. It, well, my sister in law, they have four or five horses, so they oh actually gosh. do it all the time. Yeah, but, uh, they they love it too. But oh, I yeah. would, I I'm terrified when they're because so my daughter's almost five, and then my mm-hmm. I have a three year old and a newborn, and having them on there, same like oh. to your point, they're they're giant animals. They're so and big, so unpredictable, exactly, and oftentimes mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Hold on. Did you ever get where you were running, like they were running fast or that's not what you did? I mean, yeah. Like I jumped, like I did like full like courses with also, yeah. I mean, I can like show some pictures nice. and videos. Cause like when I see people like just riding, like chilling, like going like zero miles an hour on a horse, I'm like, I want no part of that. But when you watch like a movie and they're like oh. trotting along, I'm like, okay, I that mean, seems cool. So there's Western and then there's English. Western is the, like the Yellowstone cowboy, huge saddles, lasso type. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That stuff, that was not what I did. Yeah, yeah. Mine was the more pretentious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good way it's to explain it. the ones that you like see it. You know, have you ever watched the Olympics in equestrian? They're going over the big jumps and there's like a specific pattern they have to do. And it's yeah. try not to hit the poles and it's the fastest person. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the style of stuff I did. Still impressive, nonetheless. More impressive. Yeah. To be, like to be able to control the horse. A, it's yeah. insane. There's so many, like, it's so technical. It is it is actually ridiculous. It's a whole, yeah. But, like, so if the many. world was ending tomorrow and, like, we had to get a telegraph to, like, somewhere across the States, could you? <laughs> Somehow the internet <laughs> has completely bombed down. And cars. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Planes could you ride that boats. horse? Could you get the memo back to PEI? You know what? I mean. That would take a long time. Sure. Yeah, if nice. that horse could swim, then yes. Nice. Oh, yeah. You don't want to. <laughs> it's a couple oceans. We drown. <laughs> we need a plane <laughs> or a boat, something. All right. Uh, back to oh CrossFit. Yeah. So, so you're doing that yeah. and then you got into gymnastics after? No. I So I did gymnastics like as a kinder, you know, they sure. threw me. That was one of the sports you could just kind of throw your kid, yeah, in, you know, yeah. like see if they like it. I did. Stepped away from it for a bit. Came back when I was in like fifth grade. Did that for a bit. Um, but then... I al- I was always injured in gymnastics because I've never been flexible. I was mobile, but I was never flexible, yeah. not bendy. I didn't, I couldn't do the splits, you and know? And you need to be. <laughs> and you need to be. So it was one of those things where I was always hurt. Like some tendon or ligament was always like, like I had two knee braces on. I had wrist braces. My wrists were always killing me. And my ankle was always messed up. Like it, I looked awful when I was 11. Like it was so <laughs> bad. What's wrong like, with this girl in the brace over there? <laughs> like I looked like a car accident. Yeah. Like all I was missing was a neck brace. <laughs> but my ankle was always the one that like, really would just not go away and I mean gymnastics coaches especially like probably better now as like more things have unfolded in that community but back in I say this I'm 19 it was like 10 years ago but (laughs) still (laughs) but like things have changed yeah things have changed coaches were not the most empathetic or you know kind of concerned so it was kind of like you're fine right so anyways eventually I finally like got x-rays were fine I finally got into an MRI and I chipped all the cartilage away between my tibia and some of those like foot bones. Yeah, like the talus. Yes, yeah. Big anatomy guy over here. <laughs> but <laughs> the foot bones, you know, some of those. Yeah, some of those bones yeah, down some there. Some of those bones down there. I had chipped away all the cartilage and I had actually started chipping at the bone. So there's nothing protecting <laughs> that anymore. At 11? Yeah, at 11. Wow. So I had to have surgery and they like picked away all the little pieces I kind of chipped off, put some fake cartilage in there. Fixed. I haven't had ankle issues since. Only thing is it's a little stiffer on the right. left side than the right. Totally fine. Knock on wood. <laughs> One joint that leaves me alone now. <laughs> like, got other ones. Feel great. Those pistols are awesome. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, after that, I kind of had, I knew you hit a point in gymnastics, which is funny at 11, you kind of realize like if you're not at a certain level at this point, you're just not going to be right. And I, I had stopped loving it at a point cause I was always in pain. I just knew I wasn't getting better. I was too competitive to just be stagnant. So I was like, I'm kind of done with this. I'm moving on. But I wanted, 
I liked, <laughs> I was in sixth grade at this point. I was like, I like being stronger than all the boys in my class. Like we would always arm wrestle at recess and I would crush everybody. And I was like, this is fun. I want to <laughs> still be strong. Like I don't want to lose my strength. Um, so I was like, I don't know what to do. And I had watched the movie. This is like one of my favorite stories or I guess I tell us all the time. I'd watched <laughs> the movie Spy Kids, I think, or no, The Spy Next Door with Jackie Chan. Okay. Anyways, I loved it. I was like, this is sick. I want to be able to do this. Well, what was he doing in that? What do you mean? I don't think I've seen that movie. Really? The Spy Next Door? The Spy, I don't even know if I've heard of that movie. Oh, my God. You definitely would have. Okay. Maybe. I've seen Rush <laughs> Hour 1, 2, and 3. Oh, those no, are great. It's, now, it's, that it is like, classic. Those are classic. I have seen those, but it was it was more recent than that. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it'd be like I'll check it out. 2010, maybe, 2009, but anyways, watched that, and I was like, oh, I want to do, like, martial arts, like, so I tried Taekwondo, went in for this intro at this little, like, garage, basically, and it was a CrossFit gym, too, so there was a okay. CrossFit class on one ah. side, did the Taekwondo intro on the other, and the guy that ran the intro was like, you're very strong, I always was, like, had bigger legs, like, yeah. was... When I was 11, I was tall for an 11 year old. I was the same height I was now. <laughs> so, five foot two, 11 year old, I was huge, but then it stopped. <laughs> but anyway, so he was like, You, I think, like, you'd be pretty good at CrossFit. And I was like, What's CrossFit? I was kind of like eyeing the class in the corner, like, What are these fools doing? You know, like, he's like, I think you'd be really good at it. I was like, I have no idea what this is. Kind of explained it to me. And so he was like, Why don't you come in on Saturday, try our, our teens class? Came in on Saturday. There was three other teens, like, it was super tiny. Did like a workout of like ball slam, some running and like, I think it was handstand pushups, but I could already do a handstand, yeah. you know? So it was already like miles ahead of some right. of the teens and he was like, how'd you like it? I was like, oh, I loved it. And I just like fell in love with it. Kept coming back. Did the teens class like three times a week for like the first year and a half. Um, did the open in 2017, but was too young to sign up. I was, I think I was 14 or 13, but you had to be. 14 by a certain day by a certain right, day yeah. and I wasn't so I just couldn't sign up I did it um and I like we kept track of my scores I wasn't doing anything other than like the classes sure. at this point kept track of my scores I were the other been, kids like, in the class doing it too they wanted to do the open or they were just doing some of them did yeah they were all older I was the youngest one by far they yeah. were all in high school I was still in you like still keep up high. with any of them they were, I, I think at this point, I was better than most of them. No, no, do you keep up with them now? Oh, I thought you, you meant like keep up with them at workouts. <laughs> no, I was no, like, no. I think at this point. Um, so it's funny, I did actually talk to one of them the other day, and or not the other day, actually. I guess this would have been like six months ago now. Yeah. But I do keep up with, maybe not the original crew. The, the thing with that teens class is that because they all did other sports, mm -hmm. they would kind of cycle in and out. So there'd be like a, like a, a crew that would come for a couple months. Yeah. They would leave. Some new people yeah, would come like in. off season, in season. Yeah. yeah. People would filter in and out. I was the only one that stayed. Like I had my ankle surgery while I started CrossFit, like still came in with a boot. I was just like a 12-year-old. That's cool. Or 13-year-old with my boot doing ring dips. <laughs> like the coaches were all like who is this kid i remember i get or i got told this by the owners of the gym like after every class i was always like how do you do a ring muscle up how do you do a rope climb with your feet because i could do legless i was like how do you do this i want to learn how to do this and they were like go away yeah <laughs> leave, leave us, us alone, alone please. <laughs> like, literally but uh yeah kept track of my scores ended up being like 40th 42nd nice. after i did the age group qualifiers right. too and I was like, I just loved it. And I, I just learned like, oh, you can compete. That's awesome. So at that point, did you know, like, I, I want to be competitive in yeah, the sport? Yeah, okay. absolutely. I was always competitive. And that's when the owners of the gym were kind of like, yo, like, do you want extra programming? Like, I'll like give you some stuff. Like, we'll kind of like monitor. They wanted to make sure I was going to do it right. They didn't right. want to just, they were really good about it in the sense where they didn't just like throw me into it and like, you're going to go to the games and you're going to be amazing. And we're going to make you do a million workouts a day kind of thing, which I know a lot has happened to a lot of teenagers. Sure. Um, so we did it really well. Started getting did the taekwondo end. Sorry, I forget. Did, did you, once you went over to CrossFit, was that a wrap oh, that on the it. Taekwondo? I did a okay. single intro of Taekwondo. She did the intro that class. Was it. That was okay. it. My dreams you weren't of dabbling in both? Nah. Intro class, saw people swinging on the bars. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I like, want to do that, that over there. That looks more fun. Yeah, no, my dreams of being Jackie Chan were <laughs> yeah. smushed for multiple reasons. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it is funny because the, the guy that did the intro also owned the CrossFit gym has was a lawyer he was like superman it was hilarious he did everything cool. but yeah it was really cool so they kind of gave me some extra programming started like doing extra workouts was able to sign up for the open the next year so what, what year is this this is now 2018 2018 and you're 14, I'm 14. at the time okay yeah. yeah so i did the open came 10th in the open 
which was awesome because they took 20. So it was like, oh, my God, like you're not like a shoe in. Right, but right. My initial thought was like, oh, my God, I'm going to do it. And then I ended up coming 21st by one second. Oof. So I missed the games by one second because I, on one of the workouts, it was thrusters and rope climbs. There used to be a standard where you had to have your hand below a line before you let go of yeah. the rope. I had my hand on the duct tape and I let go. I didn't know how to descend yet. I was still very, like, my technique was not, it was not efficient, you know, just kind of getting up and down however right. I could. I would just let go. And so I let go with my hand on the line. Uh, and then, like, a couple hours before the deadline, we're going over my videos. And, like, this is the first time any of us have done this. There's only two CrossFit gyms in PEI. It's not like there's competitive people right. around to, like, have experience. <clears throat> Anyways, but, uh, so yeah, we're looking at the video and we start to get kind of stressed. We're like, oh my God, do you see that? Like your hands on the line. And so we're all kind of freaking out and they're like, you need to do the workout again. So like last minute I go back, I've already done it twice. The second time, like had a mental breakdown, didn't do it. I was 14, like so much pressure, more, I had no mental toughness at this point. Right. I was just like a little 14 year old, honestly. Like anyways, go do the workout again. I like stop after one rope climb because I was like no everything feels wrong and I was just kind of had to leave came back did it was a full like two minutes slower like way worse but we submitted that score because we were like well we don't want to be those guys yeah. like it was the silliest thing ever it's not even like I missed the top of the rope right anyway it's not an indicator of my fitness or skill level whatsoever but we didn't want to we wanted to hold that standard you know right. that was really important to us um, so we, we submitted the slower score and it was because of that slower score that, that I held finished. You up. Yeah. Exactly. Now, how did that feel knowing that you had a faster score, but uh, it didn't count? I mean, it crushed me for a whole, it yeah. crushed me for multiple years. Yeah. It was probably one of the most painful things I had experienced in my life to that point. I had never like had loss like that before. I didn't have, I remember talking about this like a couple of years ago when I just aged up in a different podcast saying like, I'd never lost a family member I had never lost a pet I hadn't gone through anything wildly difficult yet I'd had bad coaches I'd had tough parts of my life but I had never lost something like that so that was a very rough that was a rough yeah yeah that was so, so what did you do then like how did, how did you stay motivated after being so close because I've seen I've seen it go both ways right like you have athletes that like it it kind of like feeds them and, and it, that fire burns and then they continue to push and then there's others that are just like yeah screw this like and give up like right away especially i mean at 14 it's hard to, to grasp and have perspective on you have a long ways to go like you have all these yeah. years to be really good at the sport yeah it was definitely very difficult i do have to credit like my coach at the time brett who owned my gym he was very crucial in that he was very good at keeping me looking at the big picture. I would not have been able to do that by myself. Absolutely not. Um, <clears throat> so he was great for that. And he kept me kind of looking forward. It definitely, it taught me how to be mentally tough. It taught me how to push myself in workouts. Before that, I had no pain tolerance. Right. I was not like, I think a lot of people naturally are very good at like, like there is a type of person that's good at CrossFit. You, you can see it, you know, they like that kind of like hurt. They like, they like intensity. I was not that person, <laughs> like to an extent. I mean, in gymnastics, we used to cheat our conditioning. Like, you know, yeah, like yeah. as soon as they weren't looking, we drop the like <laughs> mat or something or stop jumping. Like I was never like, yeah, I want to do conditioning. Like, you know, so it was, it, I forced myself to like that, I guess, forced me to learn that. Cause it was like, what do you want more? Right. And I feel like looking back though, you probably have taken more wins from that. Like if you, oh. let's say you qualify for the games, you're a teenager, you go there, you do well. What's the difference in motivation between like now you're hungry, you, you, you oh. still want it. And even now, like we can go through the rest of the, the career to yeah. this point, like you're yeah. still so young. There's, there's a lot more, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah, that absolutely was the start of what made me mentally tough. Absolutely. And I am to this day. I mean, I was glad a couple of years after and still right now, so glad I did not go. So glad. if I had gone in 2018, I would not have gone in 2019 and I probably would have given up then. Yeah. And this is a link you can click if you want to watch the full episode of 130 with Annika Greer. For those serious about the sport of fitness, now is the time to build strength, gymnastic skills, and improve your overall capacity. We have divisions for RX, intermediate, masters, and elite athletes. For more information, go to trainingthinktank.com.